Ladies and gentlemen, there are things in this world, there are things on YouTube, and one of those things is titled Storytime. And so, uh, today I'm going to be ripping off every girl YouTuber and various guy YouTubers who talk about story time, including Tana Mongo. In case any of you don't know that, there's a big kerfuffle between iDubs and Tana Mongo, and it was kind of entertaining to watch. But regardless, today we are going to talk about some story times related to my ferrets. These are funny stories, three in particular. And I hope you enjoy. By the way, for anyone rather curious about why my hair is all Goku'd up, this is the result of volumizing dry shampoo. Now the thing is, it's not great for keeping your hair. What are you doing, Rosie? Okay, let me show you what Rosie's doing. I set my shoes down <laughs> and she was trying to get to my shoes. Well, I love you too, Rosie. Well, that's way too close. Nope, nope, wrong way. Okay, Jack, look, stay pretty for the camera, please. We're working here. This is how I pay for your food, remember? Like, I don't care. Like, I just wanna go play. I wanna go enjoy myself. Anyways, so yeah. Dry shampoo, volumizing dry shampoo, not all that great if you've already got hair that kinda already has volume to it. I mean, I, I barely put anything in it. So when I put this dry shampoo in it, it just went poof. And I'm too lazy to go take a shower before filming. So you guys are gonna get Jacob Goku and Jack the very, very uh, foldable ferret. So I might have told this story earlier, but this was one of the first stories. So when Jack was just eight weeks old, I had went to go and see him, which was the day I bought him, but anyways, so the reason he gets his name is because he has escaped in very stupid ways. So I'll just make this short because my camera is running out of battery and time, but here's the thing. I was in front of the shop holder holding Jack like this, and somehow, while we were talking, Jack had made his way through my arms and fell onto the wooden floor. And yeah, it wasn't all that great for me, but at the same time, it was kind of funny. And it really made uh, an impression that lasted up until now and probably well into Jack's life, that he will escape in very, very stupid ways. Story number two. Uh, Ferrets can be mean. So when I got Rosie a couple of weeks after I'd gotten her, I was doing some workouts in my room, so I was you know, uh, exhausted, laying on the floor, kind of like this, with my arm to the floor, just checking my phone. Now, Rosie had came up to me from the front, so she was like right here, just, you know, saying hey. And Jack walks around from behind me, and this is where it gets really, really humorous. He walks up to Rosie, and Rosie's right here looking at me. 
What just fell? Oh, that's my phone. Okay, Ferret knocked it over. And as Jack walks over, he sees that Rosie is staring at me or checking me out. And Jack takes his paw and pushes her away from me and onto her side. And I just, when I saw that, I laughed so hard just seeing that because I don't know if Jack was jealous or he just wanted to push Rosie over or something, but it's just hilarious seeing Jack be so uh, mean. <laughs> so here's another funny thing because I've got two minutes left in my recording and I need to film an outro. Rosie is deaf. Now, my sister also is partially deaf. You wanna know who picked Rosie? Yeah, it wasn't me. My sister started pointing her out like, I like that one, she's unique, she's a blaze. Well, the deaf girl picked out the deaf ferret and also gave her the name Rosie. And so it's Jack and Rosie from Titanic. So, you know, that's Jack and Jill or whatever. So, you know, that's a nice little coincidence there that many people have tried to get me to film uh, some sort of uh, Jack and Rose Titanic spoof reference, which I'm going to at some point. But I'm running low on time on this camera, so thank you so much for watching the video. If you like this video, subscribe for more and leave a like on the video. Check out the things in the description. Follow me on social media, on Instagram, not Snapchat, I don't have that yet. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that. I post cute pictures and such all the time there. And if you would like to become a supporter of the channel, get access to the page procrastination backlog, patron exclusive videos, posts, and things that I just don't post, well then become a patron supporter at patreon.com forward slash Captain Jack Ferret. Well guys, I've been Jacob or Captain Jack Ferret as you know me, or Jack for that instance, and I will see you next time. I'm at zero minutes and my camera's almost died. I'm surprised I made it through this, but hey, thank you all.